you know, I think when Donald Trump says that the, it's rigged, he, he's mostly talking about the media uh, being in cahoots. That's what he's talking about. And I, 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 the emails show the cooperation, the coordination between the New York Times, uh, CNBC reporters, and, and other reporters all over the media at Univision. I mean, it is rigged from that, uh, that standpoint, is it not, Stacey? Wait, wait, let's yeah, say she goes. And, and there's even something more important that I notice CNN and all these other big outlets are not talking about, and that is that we are now uncovering through the hard work of Project Veritas and James O'Keefe, undercover videos showing Democrat elected officials and people who preside over the elections in New York City and other places across the country admitting that in certain neighborhoods, people are picked up on a bus and driven around from polling place to polling place yep. to that vote. so racist! It's what? Oh, here we go again. Oh, my gosh. Don't you dare, Jane. Don't do it. Don't call me a racist on television. You've got this big problem with me. You think you can say whatever you want to me. You think you can call me a racist. When real, in reality, you're probably the one who has a problem with black people. Not me. person voter fraud. 31 doesn't matter. Billions doesn't of matter what you say at this point because you brought up the racism <laughs> angle and it's so tired. Jane, 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 who Jane, wants to talk about race. Jane, th let me, let me, let me tell you, we're having a, 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 a James O'Keefe on uh, this week. That video exists. New York State Democratic Party, they're talking about voter fraud, busing people around to vote in various polling places. So so a black woman, Stacey Washington, r talks about it, and you say it's racist to talk about it's what was said? Say, yes, the, the, the Donald Trump and his supporters have suggested that Mexican illegal immigrants are going to be bussed across the border to vote. All of this I is didn't hear her say Mexican fantasy. illegal immigrants. I didn't say anything about that. No. Fantasy. Okay. okay, can I respond yeah, to this? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Stacey. People to vote so once. Here's the problem. Here's the problem that we have. There's this dog whistle that the Democrats like to use, and it's racism. And what they do is they use black people like a billy club. They use us without paying. It's like prostitution, but not as good because at least prostitutes get paid. And they use r blacks, and they say blacks can't get voter ID. Although blacks can, uh, they can cash checks, they can rent hotel rooms, they can buy alcohol, they can go to the doctor, they can get jobs, all of which require ID, but we can't get IDs to vote. So they use, they prostitute blacks out by saying that blacks can't get IDs, therefore voter ID is racist, when in reality, Voter ID is to protect the votes of every American, regardless of their race, because one citizen, one vote means all of us are equal. So whenever it's brought up, especially now, you have Jane Velez Mitchell using the word racism against me, a black woman, when the conversation has nothing to do with race. This is not about disenfranchisement. It's about ensuring the integrity of the United States citizens, one citizen, one vote. For you to bring up racism is, again, a really tired, minimizing tactic that I will not permit. I'm not a racist. Neither are you. I would hope you would admit to that, that you're not a racist. And so racism does not belong in this conversation. I was the one who brought race into this you election did. from day you one. It you went down now. that escalator and you said, all Mexicans are rapists or words to that Stop effect. Who turned out to be the real sexual pervert? Stop That's called reaction up. formation.